Ever so often I like to mass make something and today I'm using credit cards to mass make these spine dangles. If you are like me, you have all kinds of reward cards and expired credit cards and hotel key cards in your stash. And I made these little dangles for my junk journals <clears throat> out of those cards that I've been hanging on to. Here are a couple of hotel key cards that I have in stock and today I'm going to utilize those. Taking some sandpaper and roughing up the surface because the surface is that glossy, shiny, um, credit card-like feel. So I want to rough that up a bit before I get started. And I'm going to make these very simple, very quick, very easy. You can always add additional decoration to them, but I am only doing today what I want to do to get my base piece down. Then I'll decorate them further if I choose when I add them to a journal. I'm starting with a raw umber and a uh, vermilion green paint, acrylic paint. And I'm just tubing it right onto the card and I have these sponges. I have a whole bucket of these sponges that I just came across in my studio and I am actually getting ready to move my studio, so I'm kind of starting to try to use some of the things that I haven't used or get rid of them or move them out or find a place to store them. But in any event, I'm putting the acrylic paint down on these cards, tapping it into place on the card and drying in between layers, and I will continue to go with that until the image that is currently on the card is no longer visible. Took three coats. I am drying in between the coats. I'm utilizing a hair dryer to dry the credit cards or the hotel key cards in between. So now I have the basic foundation laid down and I'm not overly happy with it. I think it could use a little bit more. So I pulled out some Distress Oxide Sprays and I am utilizing Brush Corduroy and Bundled Sage. So I'm putting the Brush Corduroy down first and then the Bundled Sage. And now I'm much happier with the way they look. So I've used the credit card, roughed it up, put three coats of acrylic paint on it, and now I am just f finishing it off with the oxidized or distress oxide ink sprays, and I, and I like the way they look. So now I'm going to flip them over, and this morning I went on to Creative Commons and downloaded some um, non-copyrighted images. They're free public domain images, and I printed them just on my inkjet printer in a format that will fit on the back of this card. And I found, um, I follow someone that uploads a lot of vintage photos. They're very into the vintage botanicals and they had this little bird in there that I liked. So I printed him off or put him into place. And now I've just cut cut them out and I'm gluing them on to the back of these credit cards or hotel key cards. It could be a credit card, but this is a hotel key card. And there we go. I used uh, glitter glue to glue it down. I'm just kind of moving it back and forth to make sure that glue is all the way to the edges. Taking my baby wipe, it's a pretty dry baby wipe and just kind of going over the top to make sure that, that uh, I don't have any bubbles or 
anything. I did tear a little edge of it over there on the side, but that's okay. We'll cover that up when we go back to ink it up. So now I have them all glued into place. The glue is dry. I've let them set them aside enough for the glue to dry. And now I'm coming back with a coat of hard coat Mod Podge just to protect that paper. And I, I'm, as if you follow me, you know I'm very fond of the hard coat Mod Podge. So I've allowed that to dry. And now I'm just going to cut them into the sizes that are going to become the little dangle. So out of this first card, I got six, six little birds. Out of these next two cards, I'm going to get four. So I have four botanicals, and the dangle will be a little bit larger, but I don't think it's too big. And we'll get four. So out of three hotel key cards, I got 14 dangles. And they can be used for spine embellishment. They can be put on a tab, on a book. They can be attached to just about anything. They can be used on the top of a tag. You name it, wherever you put them, <laughs> they'll certainly go there. So now that I have them all cut out, the next thing I want to do is just hide that white plastic that is showing. I'm inking around the outside edge with vintage photo and it's doing a okay job but not as good as I would like so once I get it inked with the vintage photo I will go back and ink it again with the black. I am using my sanding block if there's any um, you know where you cut there might be something that's a little jagged or you might have a piece of glue that came out from underneath the paper that you want to get off of there, so I have my sanding block to do that. I also pulled out my crocodile because on these hotel key cards, the four corners are rounded, so that leaves me with four pieces that need to have the corners rounded, and I found that quarter-inch cut on the crocodile is perfect for that. So... On a lot of these, I went around to all four corners with that quarter-inch uh, crocodile corner cut. And now I'm just going back with the black on these, and I'll do that. I'll do that to all. So now I have them all finalized as far as the inking and the Mod Podge and everything else. And now I have my gold pen out and I am just splattering gold splatters over the whole lot. I don't think there's anything that isn't improved a little bit with a gold splatter. And you'll see me do this a lot. So we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and with the big bite I'm going to take the smallest little um, hole and I'm just going to punch a hole in the top of each one. <clears throat> now you could insert a grommet now. And, you know, if you really want it to be a total finished look, that would be wonderful to do. I'm not going to do that. I might come back in and grommet it when I get ready to use it. But what my plans are for this is to get rid of some of these cards that are laying around. And I have a mason jar, and I'm just going to throw them all in the mason jar. One, I think they'll look nice in my studio. I think that's that will make a nice little decoration, that jar full of these dangles. And two, they'll be ready when I get ready to do my next books. And I do have three journals that I am working on the pieces um, and I want to get started. Now I'm coming back with some gilding wax because I found that it covers that white edge of the credit card or of the card better than anything else. So I'm doing that on all of them. I have a bronze gilding wax and just going around the corners of each. So there you go. All of the little dangles completed the 
some of them are from yesterday and when I was figuring out how to do this and I stamped those and I found that printing the image was so much easier than stamping. Um, Well, it may not have been easier, but I got a better result. Let's put it that way. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. Please hit that subscribe button. Your comments are always appreciated. And that thumbs up does help my channel. It um, kind of signals the YouTube algorithm to recommend me to other people that may not know me yet. And I would appreciate it if you would do that for me. So I shall say bye for now.